taken three points today, but how satisfied are you with the point you got here at Carlisle? Yeah, overall, uh, I felt um, two strong teams uh, going toe to toe, and uh, obviously the, we certainly had uh, we had uh, I felt a lot more chances, especially in uh, probably a 20, 30 minute period of that second half and the last 15 minutes that they came on strong. But um, you know, look overall um, to come here and and really try and push them with. With 11 out and uh, the way we we played, I thought it was um, although we wanted to try and win uh, overall, it's a, a good result. And uh, you, you certainly had your chances. We look at TV replays of the the Honda Mark opportunity. The officials got it right. He was yes. on side. Um, good chance, probably the best chance you had in the whole contest. Yeah, you've got to say on the whole, uh, fair play to the uh, the officials today. Uh, they don't usually get much praise, but I thought they 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 were really good. I thought Rebecca did really well, um, and look, it was a great third man run and great timing from Mitch. Kieran puts him through, and uh, Will goes in, and you know your two midfielders break in the back line. It was excellent stuff. And uh, on another day, uh, Will scores that, and he was a hero last week, and he was absolutely brilliant today in the way he played. And uh, you know, overall, it's. Um, you know, we're in there having those chances and uh, Holy uh, stands up to it. And you stay second with today's result. Uh, nine clean sheets in the last 16 games, John, despite, as you mentioned earlier, all sorts of absentees from the back line. It's quite an achievement, isn't it? Yeah, very good achievement. It shows the organisation and, uh, you know, the intelligence of the players, the, the work ethic as well. So, yeah, really pleased with that. And uh, what about... Uh, the overall situation now, John, you've got a quick turnaround, you play Sutton away on Tuesday, it's another big game, isn't it? Yeah, they're all, all big games, aren't they? And uh, obviously, uh, you know, with four to go, we've just got a target of what we feel we need and we'll be pushing towards that target. You took uh, Jack Sarby off today and Sean McWilliams coming on and playing in central defence. Good to have him back, Sarby's OK? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> yep. But, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, the folks at home want to know about this because you've had so many injury problems, but as far as you know, you should be able to progress from this game without any more fresh injuries to contend with on Tuesday. You can't really say that, can you, John? No, I don't know. Okay, don't know. all right. Well, what about the fans today? We had uh, a close uh, bird's eye view of them. We were right beside them, almost 600 Cobblers fans making the long journey up here. That support was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, honestly, the noise they made over there in that far corner, they drowned, I, I felt they drowned out the... Uh, Carlisle support here, I thought they were absolutely brilliant and we really appreciate it. You know, one thing we wanted to do was go over to them before the game and really rally them and uh, the boys did that and uh, they stuck with us through the whole match so we're really, um, we're very grateful for that today. I'm grateful that, you know, in, in these times at the moment, you know, it, it's not, it's tough times for a lot of people and people have spent their money, hard earned money coming all the way up paying for the tickets. Ah, it's just we're overwhelming. And uh, I know there's a hard times, cost of living crisis and all that, but you'll be hoping as many of them can get down to Sutton on Tuesday night to support you in what's a, a very big game for you. Look, we'd really appreciate it. And uh, if you can get down there and get behind us, we'd, uh, you know, you see today the, the lads are giving everything they've got and uh, we'll fight to the end. In the end, there's only four games away now. Um, how do you assess the situation? Obviously, you know, you've been telling us all season you take one game at a time, don't get too high, don't get too low. But you're still in a very promising position, aren't you? Yeah, look, we've just got to focus on the next game and, and the next result and how we approach that game and the performance first and foremost. And if we can perform well, uh, we've got every chance of, uh, of getting a good result and that's what we have to focus on. All right, thanks for your time. Thanks.